I'm here uh, specifically to uh, respond to uh, concerns raised by opposition member Mike DeYoung related to uh, allegations uh, related to the Hastings backstretch, and in particular comments I made at a media conference related to that, that I was surprised that uh, when one government looked at the backstretch, uh, they didn't see a problem, and when another government looked at it, we found serious allegations of corruption. Um, and so I'd like to walk you through a package of materials. Um, we've been working on uh, ensuring that we could provide redacted materials to you uh, uh, following the press conference because there was some interest, but obviously following uh, the former minister's comments, it seemed necessary to accelerate that. Um, there's a letter from me dated November 3rd, 2016 that I understand uh, the opposition member released where I write in the first sentence uh, about serious allegations of failures at the gaming policy enforcement branch to enforce drug policy at racetracks in Metro Vancouver. There are two racetracks in Metro Vancouver, Fraser Downs, and of course, uh, uh, the Hastings uh, race course. Um, I provide some detail about those allegations uh, to the former minister. Uh, he writes back to me and says he's gonna look into them in November of 2016. And then he wrote another letter to me, and I'll explain to you why it was my impression that he uh, had not found a serious problem. Quote, uh, the findings confirm that the unit is following best practices, unquote. Uh, he didn't, of course, provide the actual report to me, nor did he, uh, as I understand it, provide the report to you. Um, so we have done that. Uh, I've included the report by uh, George uh, Morfitt, uh, who looked into the allegations that I brought forward on behalf of Minister de Young. Uh, he goes through them in some detail. Um, he does not uh, necessarily, uh, with my uh, with respect, uh, find that uh, best policy was being followed despite what the minister has suggested to me. In fact, he had a number of recommendations for improvement and one of significance, in my opinion, uh, to the concerns that have recently been raised about the backstretch at Hastings, which is at page nine of his second report, where he says, some concern is expressed that security at both the Hastings Park and Fraser Downs racetracks is not as rigorous as it needs to be particularly on non-race days, unquote. Then he uh, makes a recommendation about security measures. Quote, recommendation, quote, that security measures at the lower mainland racetracks be reviewed by track officials and staff responsible for security of sensitive information and of the racetrack premises. In particular, access to the backstretch by unlicensed persons, uh, especially on non-race non days appears to be a matter that requires attention. So here we have a report provided directly to Minister de Young uh, that says that there's concern about security and access to the backstretch at both Hastings Park and Fraser Downs, that it's not as rigorous as it needs to be, providing a recommendation that security measures be reviewed um, by track officials and staff responsible, and that access to the backstretch be addressed in particular um, and, and uh, in the report, especially on non-race days, but not exclusively. And so, I, I do understand um, that Minister de Young um, has uh, some defensiveness about his history on the gaming uh, file, um, but I don't understand uh, why he would uh, suggest that when he gets a report that says there's an issue with security and access to the backstretch at Hastings uh, and at Fraser Downs um, in a recommendation, and that is uh, when it's looked at by another government that comes in, finds there is in fact a serious and uh, systemic uh, uh, issue there, um, why he doesn't feel some accountability and responsibility for that, uh, given his time on the gaming file. Um, so that is specifically what I wanted to uh, respond to. I also um, am very proud, uh, in, uh, both formally and informally, to, uh, to say that it, it's been an exciting few days for my family. Uh, we have a new baby girl, uh, Iva Eby, uh, who was born, uh, and uh, it's, it's I come to you in a bit of a haze of new baby excitement. Uh, so um, thanks very much for, uh, for coming this afternoon. I'm happy to take any questions on this. And then uh, if you have questions on other topics, let's just keep them uh, uh, separate if we can. Thank you very much, Minister. And we'll take the first question from Vancouver Sun and Province, Derek. Hi, uh, Derek Penner with the Vancouver Sun and Province. Um, based on what has been said today, um, could you maybe respond to how how, do you, how, how would you have expected uh, his investigation to uh, come up with uh, an immigration issue when your complaints were specifically about uh, drug use and drug policy at, at the tracks? So 
Um, my complaints were about a failure by the uh, gaming policy and branch, uh, ga gaming policy enforcement branch inspectors at the time. Uh, to ensure that drug policy was being followed and that people were being suspended if they were a security issue because uh, they were using illicit drugs on the backstretch. Um, when the investigation into that issue of enforcement was looked at, all of the allegations that were brought forward um, by the informant to me and then ultimately to Minister Young were found to be credible. That there was a serious issue there. Uh, and then uh, beyond that, uh, the individual who looked at it said, there's an issue with security and access to the backstretch. Uh, I recommend that you have a look at that. Uh, and I think that if Minister DeYoung had had a look at it, uh, then he uh, would have been more likely to find what we did uh, when we looked at the issue of security and access to the backstretch, uh, which was uh, allegations of, uh, of uh, corruption of a provincial employee, uh, very serious allegations of the exploitation of, uh, of unlicensed and undocumented workers, and, uh, and re required action, including uh, placing a provincial employee on leave. Thank you. Any other questions? Marcelo? As far as you know, was the employee involved here working for the gaming branch during the time that you raised these issues with Mr. Dion? Yes. And so this, this person's a longtime employee that's under investigation. Where is the investigation at as far as you know about this particular employee? There are two uh, streams of investigation. One is the investigation being led by the Canadian Border Services Agency, which is the criminal investigation as well as the so criminal code investigation, as well as the Immigration Refugee Protection Act investigation, whether there was fraud related to that. They are uh, leading that entire investigation. There's a second stream, which is the Gaming Policy Enforcement Branch uh, HR and regulatory investigations, and those are on hold until the criminal and immigration refugee investigations are complete. Uh, we're in the hands of CBSA, uh, they're leading that, and they are uh, uh, running that investigation at this stage. Thank you. No, I haven't had any update from CBSA, I'm sorry. Any other questions from the room? Um, oh, back to Derek, okay. Um, the, the, uh, Mr. De Jong, in, in conversation with me, he didn't say it in the statement that he released to the media, but in, in an interview he said he would, he would be asking for a retraction from, from you with respect to, to implying that you know, he knew about the immigration issues um, but didn't do anything. Um, could you directly respond to that? Sure. Well, like money laundering where he received reports that were red flags and he continued to allow uh, casino operators to accept uh, dirty money, uh, he received a report that said there was an issue around security and access to the backstretch, and that issue continued um, uh, despite him receiving a report about that. And I'll note that, uh, that um, uh, this report was not ever published or released or talked about by Minister DeYoung. And in fact, and when he wrote to me, he said uh, it was looked at and, and best practices are being followed, and I'm, I'm confident that, uh, that everything's great, which, which is exactly what he said about money laundering. When I asked him about it in the House, we, you know, uh, we, uh, we take money, the issue of money laundering really seriously, and we follow best practices. Well, that turned out not to be true. What do you make of how quickly he's responded to this situation when media have repeatedly asked him about money laundering and what his role was back then, uh, the investigation that's been ongoing with Peter German? Uh, do you find it surprising that he's upset about this, but not necessarily all the other allegations that you've brought forward in recent months? Well, I was surprised to see uh, Minister DeYoung uh, release uh, documents that he received in his role as minister because I know I've asked him uh, to release uh, cabinet documents about their work on money laundering, which uh, both he and Mr. Wilkinson have refused to do. Um, so it seems like a selective uh, release of documents, again, to release the letter but then not release the report uh, that he received um, is, uh, is, I think, telling about this document release strategy uh, that they're undertaking. It's a selective reading of history, which is not a particularly flattering one for the BC Liberal Party. Just to sort of cover things off a little bit, when you received um, the anonymous or the whistleblower tip fr from your office when you were you became attorney general, like, right. what what was the nature of those complaints? Did they bring up uh, the immigration and sort of illegal work specifically as part of the complaint? There were, uh, so a whistleblower uh, attended at my office and, uh, and brought forward a number of allegations related to uh, access to the backstretch and security in the backstretch. Um, they were not limited uh, to drug issues. They were not limited to uh, licensing issues. Uh, there were an array of issues that were raised and that were investigated by the Gaming Policy Enforcement Branch and that are part of an ongoing investigation. Thank you. If there are no more questions at this time, or oh, one, Shushti. 
the allegations that that whistleblower brought forward, were they related to the individual who's currently being investigated? So uh, certainly um, it's, it's reasonable to expect that the, the whistleblower's allegations are related to uh, the uh, investigation and uh, the um, actions by the Canadian Border Services Agency. Um, but I don't know uh, what work the CBSA has done beyond those original allegations and how connected they are, so I'd be reluctant to speculate about that. The CBSA is leading the investigation. As I say, I've, I've kept a distance from that.